my dad tried to make me to go to judo since I was 10, but I decided it's just a sport for boys, so I would not move there. And he asked me with 12, move there and try it just one time. And so I was annoyed by it, so I was like, okay, dad, I will do it one time and never again, okay? Yeah, but never again, I'm still here, <laughs> so. Since I started with 12 years old, I was kind of more like, I have no clue about judo anyway. And before I was doing lots of different sports, so I never had really a hero or something like this when I was small. And since now, I think it's kind of cute because I think I always wanted to be like Pippi Longstocking, you know, because she was always so strong and smiling and every time happy. So I always thought, oh, really? That's a really cool person. But I never had like a really sports hero. 2008 I started to be good in juniors. I remember I told my coach um, this year you know I would like to go to the European champ uh, championship but I was not even in the in the national team and my coach looked at me and she was like what? It's like no really I want to go there and she's like yeah maybe you should look for some other goals you know this is quite high. One of the 63 girls in the juniors injured herself so I got all it I got some chances. I made a medal at all the uh, tournaments and uh, in the end yeah I went to the European Championship. I ended up only fifth. This was like okay if I have if I want to do something I can do it you know. When you keep working hard and it keeps going like this eventually you can make the Olympic Games. I was like, hmm, you know, this fight is going to be on TV. You better not lose in the first 20 seconds. That's going to be embarrassing. Because it was the first time, I think, the European Championship, or judo was shown in, uh, in German TV. It was on Sport 1. And, and I knew some people are watching it. So I was like, oh, really, that would be not so cool. I think just the complete year was really successful for me. I think I just gained some self-confidence. I work a lot on me. I, I know what I, I think I believe more in my strength than I did before. Um, yeah, I'm not self-doubting anymore like that, like I used to do. So all of this work and all of the little pieces which I work on just, yeah, just made me be where I am right now. I think it's amazing to have a goal together, to want something to go somewhere together and like our goal is to go to the Olympics, to have a medal and it's cool to share it with someone, to not, to not have to do the whole way alone, you know, sometimes just to share it because you have similar problems or yes, a similar way of life so it's just supporting through the whole way and you can always exchange with each other since we are almost similar weight categories we can really train good with each other technique or something like that so yeah it's just incredible supporting yeah, for both of us. There are often some situation in life which I can just transfer from judo where I'm like okay but you know you don't give up in this situation so don't do it in your normal life and yeah you get to see so many countries so many different kinds of people really I really I'm so thankful through judo what judo is giving to me. Uh, for sure I don't underestimate judo I know judo and competitions every time everything can happen so this year I just focus on preparing myself as good as possible. For sure I want to have a medal. I'm not going to go there and be like, oh, I don't care, just participate, that's not enough. <laughs>